Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today, pretty excited, Farming Simulator 19 has just come out, and I've had on pre-order for a bit, but anyways, today we're going to be getting a first look at Farming Simulator 19, now that's released, and just take a little overview of the game, see a little bit what's changed, and just generally put my two cents here of what I see, and what's going on with this new version. So yeah, I got this on pre-order from Fanatical. There was a little delay, but ultimately, I was pretty happy with them. And they sorted out really good for me. But enough yarring on, we're going to start up the game and... You know, this is pretty exciting. Alright, so here we are, we're on the main menu screen. And obviously, there's a little bit of a redesign of the main menu elements here. All this is... A little bit different, but that's not really that important. Nobody really cares too much about that. What we're going to focus on here is the actual gameplay and maybe see if there's a few things we'd want to adjust. It's in the options here. So before we get started, let's just look here real quickly what's going on. Uh, this is all pretty much standard. We got advanced graphics things. I got it on high right now. I have uh, NVIDIA 1050 Ti, so. Generally, I think that should be able to handle high graphics, so we'll see if that's going to be the case, but if you got graphics card around that, even a little lower, you should be able to handle the graphics. But we'll find out if that's the case. Uh, okay, so obviously controls and that, yeah, we know that already. Uh, so I wonder, achievements here. Long play. Yeah, so all the real achievements here, they're about the same as the, they were in 2017. It's really the same achievements we got here. Mods. Let's see, do they actually have mods here? They got Estancia Lapacho. Oh, that would be the map for the Platinum Edition in Farming Simulator 17, so that's usually a common standard here is that if you have Farming Simulator, generally what they'll do is they'll release the stuff from the Platinum expansion in the next game, which is really nice, it's a nice bonus. So yeah, there's a Stancy Lopacho, that map. Um, these are probably just sample mods to get the modding community going. Really, the modding community hasn't really gone anywhere yet because the game is just released, but likely within a few weeks we'll start seeing some mods pop up. Uh, we got tutorials here on a bunch of different things. Maybe I'll go through those in another video, but for now, we're just going to dive right into the career. So let's take a little look here. Save game one. Let's open that up. And here's where it gets interesting. Perhaps some of you have been following the, the devlogs or the posts by Giant Software or Farming Simulator on Facebook and how they were talking about how this new land ownership system works. So really we got three different options here that we can start with. We can start from scratch, no land or equipment. All right, that's pretty interesting. So basically a struggle town over there, struggle town. Uh, mill one, start with funds but no land, no buildings, no equipment. Okay, it's, so that's really a customization focused thing. Building your own farm. And it was said that this game mode, New Farmer, is really like the previous version of the game. So maybe the most fair way to look at it here is comparing to Farming Simulator 17, see if it's worth it. So let's just start a new game here. New Farmer. So. Now we got our maps. There's two maps that come with Farming Simulator 19. One is Ravenport, one's Felsbrunn. Perhaps you've seen the showcases they've done for the different maps. Myself, I'm more inclined to the American style map, so I'm going to be going with Ravenport. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've picked our map. Now it wants us to create a character. This is actually pretty cool. You get to finally change your person. Back, Farming Simulator 2008 to 2017 pretty much had a standard stock character. 
now you got to choose your own. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few different options here you can pick from. Um, I'm thinking of going with this guy. I don't really like that guy's hairdo. Oh, you can change it. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, quite a few different hairstyles and stuff. I wonder if there's going to be mods for this. That you can mod your own hairdos and whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll give him a brown shirt. Wow, there's quite a few hats too that you can pick from. That really takes away the point of having a hairdo though, doesn't it? Wow, that's a lot of hats. Oh, John Deere, yeah, because we're in America. We like John Deere's. Uh, so, you can either have a vest or not. Okay, we'll have a vest. Uh, let's turn ourselves green there. Now we're like, a, oh yeah, Mr. Cool Dude McGee. Alright, so now that we've messed around with that for a bit, let's get into here. See our new map. And one thing I'm really excited for is the new graphics system they have for this game. That's really what hooked me, the dynamic skybox. Oh man, that just... That just sounded so amazing, and the voxel clouds they got. It's all procedurally generated. So the sky is always different. That's one thing I really like about real life too. When you look at the sky, there's always something different, something new. And I think I'll really breathe some new life into the game, but we'll find out here. Really excited to see these new graphics. Okay, so it's loading here. And I'll be doing another video too of is Farming Simulator 19 worth it? Perhaps a little later though when I put a few hours in after the, really the novelty has worn off a little bit. But for now, yeah, just a little look into the game. Uh, start the tour? Uh, I guess, sure, why not? Uh, I know how to move. I've played since 2011, I know how to move my player. Alright, so first off, these graphics are pretty awesome. And this ambient sounds. Could use some anti-allizing, I might change that a little bit later, but right now, just looking around, wow, these these graphics are amazing. It's so much better than Farming Simulator 17. Just that skybox, I think that's what really does it. And the depth of field over there, the kind of blur. Oh, it's really amazing. It's kind of reminiscent of, not that I've played it, but Red Dead Redemption 2. The, I've seen like some funny clips from it. Uh, and like the depth of field, sunrays, it's pretty cool. Alright, so they start you off here, it seems, with a new Holland TX32. Alright. Uh, they're telling us how to use it now. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but obviously we already know how. But I guess this is sort of a good guide as to how this is all going to work anyway. We'll see. What do they want me to do? I'm not really sure. Okay, let's turn it on. Yeah, I know how to steer. I know how to steer. Ugh. Oh, birds. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a really cool thing too, that they had those birds. And of course we've got the... Same thing as they had in Prime Center 17. I really liked how the straw it piles up. Like when you stop, that's so cool. I love that. And what a lot of people complain about is, oh no, the ground it doesn't, uh, the ground doesn't deform. We don't have ground deformation. And uh, yeah, I guess that would be cool. But ultimately, to me anyway, it's not really a defining factor. It's not really something I'm too worried about. It's uh, farming again and. We'll treat it as such. As far as the physics, I guess that's really an important part of the game too. How much have the physics changed? Well, I guess really it's... There's a bit of a difference in the physics. You can sort of feel the weight behind the machine when you scare. It wasn't really easy to see when you looked at some of the trailers and gameplays for Farming Simulator 19. It sort of looked like the physics were really the same, but really getting your hands on it yourself. You... You do feel a difference, really, you do. Like, the way they sh shift, the way the vehicles move, there's a little... 
I guess, leg to them. Like, with this big heavy combine. It's really rather neat. Um, I think that's enough of that. We're just going to go get the tractor now and see about emptying it. But anyways, my 1050 Ti. Good old 1050. It's handling this here. These graphics rather fine, actually. Not having too many problems. But anyway. Let's see here. How much the grain dumping has changed. Oh, it's really quite similar to 17. So in that area, it really hasn't changed a whole lot. But, yeah. Oh yeah, there's crop destruction now. I'm guessing you can turn that off. And some of y'all probably like, Hey man, what are you doing? You're driving in the field. That's not how farming works. And yeah, I, did, I tend to agree, but... Um, that's not what we're too worried about right now. Do we have a truck? No, I guess we don't. Wow, look at that train. Oh man, and that coastline. Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. Yeah, but as I said, guys, I'm going to... I'm going to create another video, Is It Worth It, once I sort of... get a good look at the game, have played it, put it in a few hours, because it's really not fair to say it's best game ever when you've just started playing it because, like I said, there's that novelty. And it's really not fair to the other versions. In terms of gameplay, you sort of have to get into a bit. But let's take a little look at the map here. Um, I'm not sure if we can make it bigger. Probably, yeah. Uh, there's a little view of the map. I'll do a showcase of the map in another video, but here we go. Here's sort of the system behind the map. Oh, you can press X to see the lands. Oh, and look at that. That's pretty cool. You can buy sections of land. It's sectioned off into land, sections of land here. And each one you can purchase, and then you can really just do whatever you want with it. That is actually pretty cool. Now, I'm sure there's a radio that works too in this game, but we're not going to go into the radio right now because don't want to get no copyright strikes. This is really about the same sort of system as 17. You have all your grain prices. Is there sugar cane? Oh yeah, sugar cane. So you'll get that, which is a part of the platinum extension is 17. Really nice. It's sort of like, I view it this way. If you're going to buy the platinum expansion just for like 10, maybe $15 more, you can get the new version of Farming Simulator, so it's just as well to do that as to buy the Platinum. Because you get really the Platinum with it when you buy the new one. So anyways, vehicle overview, obviously there's maintenance costs and repair, and purchase costs and value as usual. Finances, we haven't really done anything, so there's nothing going on there, but we got 100,000 bucks skis, we can spend on whatever we want. We have no animals, obviously, and here we are. Um, I think, yeah, you can lease items, but I think you can also, something else you can do is you can use your own equipment, then you get more money. Sort of like in Euro Truck Simulator 2, when you do jobs with your own tra truck or trailer. Transport items from, oh, there is a transport job. That's something that really stood out to me really stuck with me when I was looking at this game. Transport job sounds really cool, like to take a truck and then just transport stuff for people. That really sounds quite fun. Um, statistics, of course, keep track of what you've done. Uh, game settings, time scale, as always, and it looks like the highest it goes is 120 times. Actually, let's just put it here on 120 times for a second and just uh, take a little look at the sky. Look at that. Look at how those clouds stay. Oh, that is amazing. Like, no, seriously, that is amazing. And when I do say the new skybox is a lot better than 17. And one thing I really noticed too, actually, just when, a little while ago, is like when you're driving, you sort of push over the grass with your tires, and it's really quite cool. And when you run into a bush, it you push it over. Uh, that, that, that was really cool. Just these little de details, they really add up and 
they really make it rather cool. Uh, dirt, of course, control for how fast your vehicles get dirty, and of course you can wash them too, I'm sure. Automatic engine start, so if you want to start your engine or not, just like 17. Yeah, a lot of the same options here as 17. Helper refill. Oh, you got a few more different options here of what you want your helpers to refill or not. That's pretty cool. Plant weathering, crop destruction, periodic plowing, lime, weeds. So you can really just, depending on how realistic you want it to be, you can change this all up. And really, if you had all this on, you could really have a quite realistic experience. It's really the best the best farming game out there as far as realism goes. And I know just these people about the ground. Oh, it doesn't do whatever if the ground's flat, but yeah, that again, that's not too big a deal to me, and I know that is to some people, but anyway, you can change your settings here. Yeah, we're just looking through here, seeing what's going on. Dollar, pound, euro. I'm going with dollar, miles an hour, acres, of course. I'm close to America. I'm going with American stuff. Uh, radio. So obviously that's their dynamic vehicle camera. That was in 17 as well. Easy arm controls. Simplified controls for crane. Oh, that sounds good. Switch your trains. Yeah, lots of cool stuff here. So many options you can... Oh, and I put the control settings within the game so that you don't have to go back to menu to change them. That was actually really, really useful. Because back in previous games, I remember what you'd have to do, you'd have to save your game, quit, go back to the main menu, then go into the options and controls to change your controls. Now you can just change it whenever you want. That is really a big improvement. All right, so, wow, there's a lot going on here. I'm probably gonna have to make a few videos to really cover it. But, Oh, looks like they still have grabbable objects. Let's go take a look, see if we can find something to pick up. Oh, and perhaps another thing I'll do, another video, of course, is I'll do a little showcase of all the equipment and farming in layer 19, just for those of you who are interested. Oh, I do believe you can go in your house as well. Oh, that was cool. I really love that on... Uh, I forget what the name of the map now. Willow? Lone Oak? Oh, Lone Oak. Yeah, I'm farming Simulator 17. It had a house you could go inside. I thought that was the coolest thing. And now in Farming Simulator 19, it looks like that is the standard. Like, in the map. Giant's map, that is something you can do. And you can pick up junk and fling it. Oh, that is pretty cool. I love that. I love that feature. I wonder if the grabbing works in multiplayer, though. Never did in 17. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, just put his way through there. Okay. Um, uh, apparently there's a sleep, uh, ability to sleep. Where's the bedroom? Like, that would be actually pretty useful for sleeping if we have bedroom. Uh, can I close the front door? I can't close the front door. Okay, big problem. We can't close the front door. All the bugs are going again. Right, are there bugs? I don't think there is bugs, but... Well, I guess it's okay then, because... Well, you don't want the air, cold air coming in. Well, whatever. Uh, you can sleep now. Oh, I'm not tired. I guess I can't sleep then. Alright. Oh, yeah. I, one thing I guess I forgot to go over here. Oh, I should turn down the... No, actually, let's leave the time going. Let's see ourselves a sunset. Uh... You know it would be really cool if we just went down to like the bay area for the sunset? Let's do that. Okay, so this is one thing I really love about the new version, is that when you want to buy a car and you want to customize it, that car is in the dealership and you can change things and you can actually see your changes being made. That's really, really cool because like in the previous game, you could buy bumpers or whatever people add to their vehicle, but ultimately your choices were like rim style 1, rim style 6, you didn't even know what it looked like when you were buying it, but now that's pretty cool, you can actually see. Uh, so let's just, I guess the only thing we can change on this is the color, so let's go ahead and buy this now. 
31,000. You can fetch your purchase at the store. Okay, we're going to do that. All right, here we are at the store. And wow, this looks amazing, I must say. And this sounds amazing too. Wow, this, I can't even, these graphics, they're amazing. It's just no comparison, really, between the previous game. Oh. Well, uh, that didn't happen. Anyway, we're going to go down to the beach and see ourselves a sunset. And while we're on the way there, just take a look here at some of the UI elements we got different here. Um, oh, that's pretty neat. We got gas gauge, repair gauge, obviously your speed, and miles per hour, I put it because that's the only measure, proper measurement for speed. It looks like we've got mileage as well. All kinds of cool stuff. Wait, can we actually go in this tunnel? No, we can't. That's one thing they're nefarious for. Um, they never let you go in the tunnels, ever. There's always tunnels, but you never can go in them. Oh, look at the lights. Now we're just sort of driving through the ditch. Um, Right proper driving through the ditch. Wow. Okay, you could see sort of a little LOD shift there as we were coming up to that rock. So obviously there's a lot of different LODs or levels of detail to the various objects. The little details, which they would need to keep the game running smoothly. Right now I'm getting 60 FPS actually. But look at this. I'll, I'm just going to turn off some of these UI elements because, seriously, we've got to see this. Look at this sunset. Uh, that is amazing, I must say. Like, seriously, just look at that. Um, let's just speed up the time here a little bit and just get a good look at how the sunset works. Uh, 120 times. Look at that. And the... Oh man, that is so cool. But I'm going to have to wrap this video up soon, hopefully. Oh man, let's just stop right there. That is amazing. I just can't even believe how big a difference there is in the, the whole system here. Like, really, it's amazing. Is there water splashes? Okay, that's one detail they didn't add. I would really love to see that. And let me guess, when you drive too far in the water, you just... Yeah. So they haven't changed that yet. I was really hoping that there would be like some sort of system of buoyancy for boats or things like that, but apparently that hasn't happened yet. Oh, we still got a flashlight. Yeah, but really, really cool. You can see boats all around, but I don't think you can actually drive one. If I find out you can, I'll definitely let you know. Oh, look at this. Boat. It doesn't go nowhere, though. Alright. But anyways, guys, I hope this has given you a little bit of insight into Farming Simulator 19 and what's changed here. And, yeah, it's really quite cool, all these different changes they've made. I'm really actually quite impressed with it. I'm really happy with all the things that have changed. The lights, the lighting, the physics, everything actually feels really, really nice. Like, you don't notice it just watching the video, but when you actually go to drive, it doesn't feel as arcadey. Like, the vehicles actually feel like they have weight, and you don't feel like you're flipping all over the place. It really actually feels rather nice. It may look like I'm just flipping back and forth, but actually it handles really, really nicely. Oh, I know I've said this so many times, but Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.